My name is Mark. I play guitar in Suicide Silence, and you're watching Rock Metal News. Hey guys, this is Ron from YouTube's Rock and Metal News with a Rock and Metal News update. Some old school Paul Stanley has surfaced. The Folgers Coffee Company made a commercial 14 years ago that featured Kiss frontman Paul Stanley and supposedly has never aired. The video is now on YouTube. You can check it out in the link in the description of this video. Has anyone seen this on TV? Uh, you can check it out. Uh, you gotta love the passion Paul puts into it and the little move at the end of the commercial. Let us know what you think of that uh, video. And Music Dash News com has reported the attempting to get Iron Maiden's The Number of the Beast to number one on the UK charts will fail due to Simon Cowell's X Factor winner Ben Haynow. It will appear uh, he will uh, top the charts with Something I Need. Uh, Maiden should, however, be in the UK top 40. Uh, that's going to change, I'll tell you, when Maiden puts out a new album, that's for sure. And the Royal Machines, which was once known as Camp Freddy, hit the stage at the Roxy Theatre in Hollywood, California on December the 19th and 20th for two sold-out shows. Some musicians were Billy Morrison, Chris Cheney, Dave Navarro, uh, Mark McGrath from Sugar Ray, and Adrian Young from No Doubt. However, this year, a surprise guest turned up, and it was none other than Ozzy Osbourne on December the 19th. They jammed out War Pigs and Crazy Train. You can check out some fan film video of both songs in the links in the description. And finally, Classic Rock had an interview with Led Zeppelin guitar legend Jimmy Page, and they discussed how Jimmy is kicking off a new chapter of his career with a new solo album. Page states the album will feature sparkling and surprising material. Um, there was reports earlier that Chris Cornell uh, may um, do some vocals on it, but uh, nothing official yet, so uh, stay tuned. You can check out that interview in the link in the description. This is Ron from YouTube's Rock and Metal News. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you.